this is Henry Carter, the rent to own man. I am at 2912 Mossdale Drive in my almost market ready house. We've got about three days left of work to do, but the house looks so good I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video. I am in the den now, and I'm going to walk you around the house, walk you outside. It's going to be a fast video. The house is coming along great. My maintenance guy had to go out of town for a couple of days. He'll be back. We'll finish it. This house will go fast. Four bedrooms, two baths. My name's Henry Carter, Carter Rent to Own. It's a gorgeous day outside, and this is a gorgeous house. So, let me start first. We are in the den. Now remember, we're not finished yet, so when you see things sitting around like the paint can over there and whatnot, that's the reason. The den uh, attaches to the kitchen. It has the real paneling, and there's the kitchen over there. Now, we're going to paint the cabinets, so we're not going to leave them that color. We, we changed out all the flooring in the kitchen and the den to real tile. Let me get down there. Let me, let me get in there and just let you see what real tile looks like. I mean, the reason I like real tile is it lasts forever, it cleans up well, and you see the fireplace? When sparks, we got a real fireplace. When sparks come out on the floor, if you had carpet, it makes a mess. If you had real hardwood floor, it makes a mess. With the tile, no problem. All right, let me get back up here. Henry Carter, my website is www.carterrenttoown.com. Telephone number 615-202-5228. I'm in the den of 2912 Mossdale Drive. Four bedroom, two bath home. Fitz backyard. Okay, I'm going to walk you through it. You've seen the den. Now we're going to see the kitchen. What's going to look different about the kitchen when we're finished? Well, we're going to paint all the cabinets white. We're going to sand them down and we're going to put enamel white. You see we got the tile floor all the way around. They've got cleaning supplies obviously still out. We've got a new dishwasher in. You've got the stove. It stays. We're going to walk on out here to what I call the bonus room or the fourth bedroom. I'm going to back up a little bit. There used to be a door there. There, there still will be a door there. We just got to put it back up. We're not quite finished painting yet. This is a large room. It does have a ceiling fan. And one would think that perhaps it used to be a garage, but when I take you out back and you look at the way the brick is, uh, it doesn't look like it was ever, you know, built around. So perhaps this, this room was just built this way. Anyway, it's a big room. It's got access to, the, uh, to my left, to uh, the driveway. Be a cool bedroom for a teenager that wanted to sneak out at night, or husband or wife or whatever. Uh, let me get brand new carpet, and I'll show you this way. 2912 Mall Still Drive. I try to add a brand new paint, but we still have touching up to do, as as evidenced by this. You got a fluorescent light in the kitchen. It's it's off now. Let me see. I don't know what the light bulb, I don't know what the light switch is. Anyway, uh, I like to make things as maintenance free as possible. Now I'm just going to uh, shoot through here to show you the backyard. We've still got some cleaning up to do. You got a big deck. You've got a building in the backyard to put things in. You've got a fence backyard so your dogs whoop, whoop, or your kids can go back there. Now I'm going to take you into the rest of the house. Uh, now we're looking into the living room. This floor has not been cleaned. It's a hardwood floor, nice hardwood floor. Big living room. I'm going to walk you all the way through it. Sometimes I go like videos better if people are in it. You get your big, you get your big windows there. Put your Christmas tree there in the winter. Uh, maybe put your big screen TV over on that wall. Or maybe put your big screen TV here. You've also got a uh, coat closet over there. Nice big front yard. I mean, just kind of show you through the shades. We are going to be replacing these shades. Yeah, and again, if you see something that looks like it hasn't been painted, it will be. Uh, all new light fixtures. Oh, there's something else about the house. It's a uh, gas heat and gas water heater. So you save money. Everybody knows natural gas is cheaper. Okay, bedroom number one, new ceiling fan, new carpet. Central heat and air, obviously. I'm going to show you another direction of the hallway. Now, bathroom number one. Practically everything, everything. 
everything is new in this bathroom. You got a new commode. No bare butts have ever touched that commode. I don't mean that in a gross way, but it's the truth. You got a new bathtub, uh, linen closet, new new vanity and sink, new lighting fixtures, and we're going to change out those funky bubs and put the decorative bubs in. New faucets, and I think they're I think they're the uh, well I'm not sure what kind they are, but they're expensive. I'll tell you that. And look at there, you, you're tiled all the way up. You got ceramic tile on the floor, and you're tiled all the way up. I'm in the bathtub now, so you don't have to worry about paint peeling or mildew and all that stuff. This is just like a Marriott hotel. Uh, I mean, it, it's great. You got your tile dishes already built in. You got tile over here, so it is a maintenance-free bathroom. Uh, we're gonna put a new fan in the bathroom. We still got the old one in. Let me show you from another direction. And there's your brand new toilet. It's elongated uh, for tall people. Tall. I'm going to take you through the rest of the house. We've got another closet here. Lots of closets in this house. And we're going to put some more shelves in there. Show you another view of the hallway with real wood floor. Just think, when that hallway is cleaned up, how shiny it's going to be. Uh, put a new AC filter, uh, not filter, but filter cover on there. Okay, now we're in bedroom number two. You've got new carpet in it. you got a ceiling fan. And the bedroom's actually a little larger than it looks because you've got the nook right over there in the corner bedroom. Okay, now I say it's part of the best for last. We're in the master bedroom. The master bedroom, you've got, you know, traditional size bedroom up to that corner where I'm pointing. And I'm going to walk you over here. And now I'm against the wall. And this is, this is the normal size bedroom. And I, I couldn't tell you the dimensions, but normal size. But we take that one step further, and you've got this office nook right there. Check out the office nook. Put your desk there. Put your printer. Uh, maybe maybe another TV. And you get back here and you do your own thing. And your kids can't get back here and, and, and mess up your computer. Uh, and in addition to the office nook, you got a big walk-in closet there. And you've got real cedar. So your clothes always smell good. If you see something that looks like it needs to be done, it's probably on the list. Okay, now we go into the second bathroom. We completely retiled this bathroom. It had old linoleum, uh, old dingy walls. We, we ripped out all the floor. We put the new tile in. We completely rebuilt the uh, the shower. And again, this this not this this looks like not a Marriott, but a Hyatt Regency. This is so this is so nice. I mean, look at you got your different color tile on the bottom. New commode, new uh, vanity. I like to look at myself. Okay, there I am. Uh, washer and dryer going that closet. That goes to the outside, and yes, it does light up in here. So. Let's just walk through the house a little bit more. I'm going to let you look at the front. Uh, I'm a little bit embarrassed because we didn't weed eat. Whoops. Let's look at the kitchen one more time. Kids, just picture the kids are out there playing. What are they playing? Kickball. Kickball. Maybe they're even playing uh, some sort of baseball in the big backyard. You're sitting there on the porch. You're grilling out. Uh, you're running back and forth in here. Uh, wintertime, you got a big fire there. Maybe you don't put your Christmas tree in the living room. Maybe you put your Christmas tree right over there. Maybe you have two Christmas trees and the stockings are hung by the chimney with care in hopes that old St. Nick will soon be there. Uh, let me show you one more thing. That's quarter round and we're going to put that around all the edges that don't already have it. That really makes the house shine and pop out and look good. Okay, we are outside now. 2912 Mossdale, Antioch, Tennessee. My name's Henry Carter, www.carter rent to own. Good house, good street, good neighborhood. Uh, we need to weed eat. The house hadn't been weed eated very, very well. I'm going to have somebody over there to do it. Within just two or three days, this house will be move in ready. What's going to be left to do once you move in? Uh, the roof. The roof's kind of marginal. It's not leaking, but obviously it's it you know missing. It needs a little work. I'm going to put into the contract that within one year a brand new roof will be put on the house. So uh, so anyway, 
You won't have to worry about the water heater. It's new. You're not going to have to worry about... What? Look at the rabbit. Did you see the rabbit? Uh, rabbit jumped across. You're not going to have to worry about the water heater. Water heater's brand new. You're not going to have to worry about the commodes. Commodes are brand new. The flooring's brand new. The roof will be new. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you... It's a brick house. What more could you want? My name's Henry Carter, 2912 Mossdale. Talk to your mama. Ask her what you think. Get her over here. Let her jump around. Let her stomp around and make sure this house has bones. It's secure. It's, it's, it's good. It's solid. Solid like a rock. Talk to your daddy. Talk to your friends. Talk to your buddy who thinks he's a contractor. Let him come over here and try to pick it apart. Talk to your preacher. Uh, Y'all come over here and, and you know, uh, if he wants to pray about it and see what the good Lord thinks, then, uh, you know, the more opinions, the better. Uh, this is the house for you. So call me direct or check out my website, www.carterrenttoown. Uh, my cell number is 615-202-5228. I appreciate you watching this video. Call quick because this house isn't going to be around long. There aren't many four-bedroom houses. Thanks a lot. Bye.